Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing with our Thrawn's Revenge 2.3.6 playthrough uh, as the Galactic Empire. So not really a full 2.3.6, but this was started during the uh, pre-beta phases. So I don't know what to call it anymore, 2.3.5.5 maybe. But uh, we are playing in Era 5 now. So we've gotten to the final era. We have uh, Pelion in charge. We have secured a good amount of the galaxy, not all of it yet. We still have some opposition from the from the New Republic and a couple planets where the Raider Maldrude is also causing some problems. Especially last episode, I think they were trying to take more of these planets back from us, so we'll probably end up crushing them soon. But uh, but yeah, so. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, this is being recorded live on Twitch, uh, so I'll be answering some questions from Twitch chat as we go, and uh, yeah, so this is, the goal here is going to be to take the northern New Republic planets, I think. Because they're starting to be a problem up in the corporate sector territory, and I don't want them to be. Uh, so we'll see what we can do with that. And then we'd be able to go through like Hast and Mon Calamari, because they don't really have that much up here anymore. Yavin is kind of cut off, but then there's some Greater Maldrude territory. Uh, so let's go into Contrum first. We've got General Hestiv still. Thank you very much, Lazy Bum. Are you, Ek, and Charlie going to stream that horror shootout game? Uh, it's something we've talked about. I don't know if uh, it's 100% going to happen, but I have brought it up with them. We are looking for a bunch of, for more games to kind of do as a group. So that would definitely be something that fits in that kind of kind of mold. Right now, Ek especially is like really loving Sea of Thieves. Uh, so we'll probably do a good bit more of that. We've got Birio Card actually coming on Thursday. So, or Friday, rather. We were going to do it on Thursday, but Julia had to reschedule. So, I think I think Wednesday, or no, I think Thursday night, Charlie Eck and I are going to do uh, possibly Sea of Thieves again, but something. But yeah, we're, we've, got, we've got a lot of group stuff coming with that. Uh... And then a couple other things that I'm planning to do with like the uh, right, the Edge of Despair group and TR devs and stuff. Armor transport ready. Proceeding to target. Uh, okay. On my way. Let's move this up. Yes, sir. And I'm gonna put a stormtrooper company down there so that. It can hopefully stop them from just taking everything and killing us all. And by that I mean killing specifically the artillery. Even though the artillery is fairly strong on its own right now. We can't get the victory point because that is not in this build of TR. Uh, Alright. Destroy that. I'm going to save that for when we have the uh, vision up. Oh, crap. This hasn't died as quickly as I'd hoped, and now there's another one around. Alright. Nice. There we go. Not as clean as I'd hoped, but uh, here, let's get a vision one here. And let's get a repair one over there. Thank you, shooter. Appreciate the sub. Uh, 
Uh, so as a lot of you have probably seen, we have the unit selection up for the community challenge playthrough. Uh, that went up Monday for those watching Order acknowledged. on you. Well, it went up the same day for everyone, but it would have been today for those watching on Twitch. But that playthrough is hopefully going to start on the 31st. Let's move out. So there'll be a couple weeks for me to get that actually ready and to start getting stuff in. Because those playthroughs take a lot of time. But they're a lot of fun. And that is actually going to be streamed entirely. And I'm going to be doing that on YouTube. So it's basically uh, a playthrough where I'm only able to use patron units. Uh, but they're chosen by more than just patrons. So the named units. You guys as viewers are kind of picking my entire fleet compositions. Uh, the units I have available. And I start with a single planet. And if I lose all my units then I lose the playthrough rather than building whatever I want. Fire. Open fire. Ready. So, uh, can we get another? Yay, they did their job. All right, uh, where's Hestiv? There we go. So you can start moving up that way. You, I suppose, can start moving up this way. I'll try to keep some of this together. All right. We are going to be using Clone Wars tech against Galactic Civil War stuff in that playthrough. So there's a very big chance of just very bad things happening. Yes, sir. Reporting in. This isn't what we want. Transport here. Roger that. Order acknowledged. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to beat an AT or a T4 on your own. Yeah, just go go to the repairs. Okay, we need to destroy the factory before we destroy that uh, that T4. Okay, ATPTs. Here we go. Well, maybe we'll be able to. No, we won't be able to kill that before the T4 spawns. All right, there we go. At least we have the other units in range now. That blew him up a lot. Alright, there we go. Our boarding shuttle is gone or am I blind? So we had to temporarily disable them because they are currently bugged. They will be added back in with a patch as soon as we figure out what's going on with them. Planetary control So, let's get that, get that. I think going for Thanos next and Roche is... Yeah, because then we can sort of loop around here. Using Gilad's fleet. Well, we actually... We also want to go for Jindine. So, we were building more ground stuff in this area. Um... Let's see. Mike's asking, did you start in a later era? I did. I started in era two. 
And then we only spent one episode in Era 4 because it was bugged at the time. So I just got out of that one. Um, where was our other fleet? Did that get completely destroyed? Because we had... Break it away, Ray one. That kind of had a bad time. Uh, yeah. I think those two fleets are our only main ones at the moment. Which means we need to... Yeah, let's get back to building. Chasseur... Um, Coral Pride. I guess with these we should just build up our shipyards again. Or even more. Get Endurance, Imperial Warlord Star, Shadow of Hyrule, Durandal, and SDF Mega Road. Regato, you're probably going to be a frontline planet for a while, so we'll leave the HV guns there. I was thinking about selling them, because we're going to move forward the front lines, but it's not going to be... Yeah, they are going for camp. Moving to oh, they're just trying to get through their territory. Reporting. Building under as long as that's open, they're just going to keep doing that. Does New Republic... Yeah, New Republic controls Skarl, so that's why they're doing that. Uh, so we'll at least need to pop someone over it. There. Alright, Talesia. We have Emperor's Wrath. Rented Nerf Herder. Stereo Shotguns. Stormtrooper Guy says use tactics. X of Furry. Uh, nobody show this to him. Karita, Appetite for Destruction, Rage of the Empire, and it's all for you. All right. So, Greater Maldrude in the core basically has this section of three and then two sections of... Oh, section of three, section of one, section of three. Uh, I might just try to leave some of this for the New Republic to fight them over. Especially if we can get to Jindin. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll pop Yield Triangle in the Pathfinder slot. Go down to Jindin. Leave that open. And Pelion... Oh, 94 Planetary Battle. We have to leave that. Well, they're going to take Bonnerton, so... Construction complete. Need a Pathfinder for you. And we'll take Thanos and Kashyyyk. Oh, shit. It's too bad it's the old Viscount. We've located the enemy. Yeah, it's the old stats and old model. So, it's not as good as it would have been. Oh, and you know what? That makes me feel less bad about what's about to happen to it. This is what we say to pre-rework stats. Speaking of rework, pre-rework stats, I'm a Granger. Hydra Dominatus. Nemesis. Jim Brenlo. So, new model looks much better, which, if you've played the mod, you may have seen already. But you can actually just go into instant action, and then you can use it yourself. But it's also much stronger. Alright. 
We do have a new model for the World Devastators done. Two new models. I brought it up like 13 times in this playthrough. Along with Golans. I just I was rigging the Golans that uh, Saratzel and Connor did before starting the stream. Uh, so they'll be in the next playthrough. Uh, in the Community Challenge as well. Um, so that'll be nice. But... Oh, shit. Alright, let's get you some help. Entreprise... Speaking of Connor, Kaishek's dream. I'm going to drop you in to hopefully do some repairing. Nobodala's Revenge. One piece Lego set. Indefatigable. Alright, now let's turn in on them. New goals will click, but will it mean? Be made stronger than they are currently. So currently, stuff has to be balanced around the fact that the AI can have no idea what a defensive structure is, um, and the art changing isn't really gonna change that. But there's other reworks we're doing with uh, kind of changing the AI's ability to see structures indirectly, and once that's done, we'll be able to do a bit more with defensive structures. All right. Commander, they're hitting us. Uh, Awaiting orders. Awaiting your orders. Priority target identified. We are victorious. There you go. I bet the title of the YouTube episode is going to reference that. Yep, you can. It's a pretty safe assumption, try to. Uh, so we got them in transit. Reporting. If we can take this line of planets, then that'll also get our ground units in position to take Commodore. Alright, that's nothing. Brigade standing by. Move out. Complete. All ahead. Let's get them over there. About to invade Hakasi. Can you stop? Well, this is going to go well for them. Construction complete. Uh, I guess I'll have to build up Corellia a bit more as well. Shuttle en route. Tactical battle imminent. Here he is. That's where Rogerus went. I was I thought we had another fleet. There they are. Blast them. This is not the best map to be all in. They might retreat though. Actually, we have an interdictor somewhere. Yeah, so they're not going to retreat. There's a pre-rework Bellator as well, so... Commander. Reporting in. Captain here. Now where is the shuttle? It needs to not die. Lander ready. Arrival imminent. Ideally. Um, Ready for orders. Form up. Destroyer here. I'm not sure how many more space units they have. Well, actually, they may not. So that's 208. 221. Yeah, 226. So this is it. Copy. Maybe Commander, try to avoid the asteroids. asteroids. I copy. 
Reporting. Tie squadron here. Star Destroyer standing by. Coming around. Star Destroyer reporting in. Heading to I kind of want to retreat just so we can put the Bellator in a better position to start off with because it's going to have to come out that way. Corey, you're going to be resuming your tabletop Star Wars series? Yep, that's every Wednesday. So tomorrow night we're going to be uh, doing another episode of that. The nebula is affecting our sensors, sir. Awaiting your orders. Awaiting your command. Your orders, sir. Your command, sir. All right, back off if you can. They're going to start responding now. Commander, full speed. Signal sir, coming through. Our sensors are being Starting affected by the nebula. Reporting in. Move out. Roger Taking that. that. Form Intercepting. Up. Engaging Fire the enemy. Your system is down. All right. Can we lure you into the billeter? Destroyer here. Your command, Our sir. Has been Copy. Disabled. We shall be there shortly. Our primary engine system is down. Oh, this tector sucks. Copy. Right away. Bombers at the ready. Our lasers have been destroyed. Uh, Watch for yeah. enemy ships. Star Destroyer standing by. Star Destroyer reporting in. Yes, Where'd he go? Attack. Moving out. Nowhere to go. Tie interceptor here. Losing power. Lander reporting. Awaiting order. All right. Looks like we're in combat range with we the first home one type. Uh, intercepting. Interceptor squad reporting. Awaiting Let's get that in position. And I'm going to stop Under you from moving. And you guys just keep going around. Watch him. He's coming around. I've got him. He won't be around much longer. We're being targeted. I can't switch positions. I think especially with these guys coming around, we're going to be able to kill that before we lose too many hard points off this. It was at a significant disadvantage going into combat because of the lack of most of its shields, but we should start taking out their hard points in a second. And then it'll be able to regen. So let's make sure the turbo lasers are first, especially on this side. There we go. Go after them. Star Destroyer standing by. Heading out. Is it the same story as the Edge of Despair series? Uh, yeah, it's it's basically the second campaign in that series right now. Ready to receive orders. Setting up my run, sir. Awaiting your formation. He's about to be destroyed. Get behind them. Target lock. Star destroyer reporting. All right. You just gotta sit there for a while. I guess he won't regen if he's in the uh, nebula. So, oh, there it's coming. Never mind. I've got him. Yeah. Saw some shields. We got a ton of bombers, so go do that. And where is the shuttle? I'm not actually sure at what point the uh, the boarding shuttles stopped working, so it could work now. Getting a lock. I've been here. Sentinel standing by. ready, sir. So the Edge of Despair episode tomorrow is going to be in the same series that's been going on for a couple months now. Uh, still on Mustafar, or yeah, on Mustafar with bad things happening. <laughs> 
For anyone who, uh, who isn't watching that series, I highly recommend it. Obviously, I'm biased. So I do recommend everything on my channel. But I especially recommend that one. I think it was broken before this point, then. All right, you go back. You come out. Where'd he go? Pursuing enemy forces. Nowhere to run. Taking him out. Getting a lock. Falling out of formation. Watch your back. Intercepting. Intercepting. He won't be around much longer. Engaging the enemy. It's during Age of Rebellion tabletop campaign, and I can't find any Age of Rebellion series. So the rule sets are mostly the same. Age of Rebellion's big thing was adding in the kind of like uh group combat situations so like the the massive army versus army stuff that has separate roles other than that most of the mechanics in the game are the same uh kind of like how we have like force and death or force of destiny mechanics rolled in because we have uh jedi in our group and eight uh edge of the empire wasn't really designed with playing a jedi in mind as much so you're able to do most things with both and like learning about one is going to be fairly applicable to the other sets or the other games. I got him. Under control. Moving to the All right. Watch him. He's coming around. He's about to be destroyed. Copy. Reporting in. Roger that. I've got him. Uh, we're close to being at the point where he's going to be able to come out. Destroyer here. I'm hit. They will be destroyed. Copy. Attack. I copy. Fire. Draw their fire. I'm losing. I really should have just retreated. But this seemed like more fun. Alright, go for this next one. And turbo lasers. Alright. Dominion's in range now, so we should be good. Just take down their anti-hull weaponry. There we go. Now on to the next one. Are you going to stream anything later tonight with Ek and Charlie? No. Uh, Ek isn't going to be working tonight. Uh, I think Charlie might be doing some playing with fans later. But I'm just I'm going to be streaming this for a while, most likely. Next group stuff will probably be this, uh, with that group rather, is probably going to be whatever we do on, uh, on Thursday, which is... Tap Calf is going to be happening at the normal time. We're going to be talking about uh, Hansel at Star's End, which we had been trying to talk about last week, but YouTube technical difficulties happened. And then after that, we'll be streaming something. Probably Sea of Thieves. I have been talking with Ek, Charlie, uh, Mark from Temple Institute, and Shaq about doing a one-shot campaign with, uh, or a one-shot tabletop session with the five of us. So I'd probably GM that. The real, we're really just waiting on me to learn how to GM properly. So I'm going to do a few test runs with Kalo and Slevered, uh, maybe Bob or someone. Which those probably wouldn't be streamed. Uh, maybe on Twitch, just for the hell of it. But just to let me figure out what I'm doing, then I'll do a mock-up of the campaign, run them through it again, and then I'd take, uh, we'd do the streamed version with, with the other guys. But we haven't nailed anything down exactly for that, so who knows. But it's something that Shaq and I had talked about, like, a year ago. 
and something I'd really like to do, so... We did do, during the first campaign, there was a one-off we did when I think Kalo wasn't available. Uh, that was using the uh, Age of Rebellion rule sets, like the group combat rule sets, with, uh, with our good boy Orin. Alright, now for all the ground units. I will I will not be giving myself strains GM. If Bob plays and Kalo plays, you better believe they're both getting a lot of strain. Oh, I mean uh Bob's here. Uh no no, there there won't be any strain given to anyone. The only the only downside of potentially like running through the session or a one off with Kalo is that last time we tried to do that with him he he just punched the plot in the face and killed it, so unable to shake them. Targeting. I got taking fire. I copy. The enemy has been defeated. All right. A lot of losses there for us. But I think we're probably better off just uh, we shall be there clearing these out. Yeah, there's nothing really there. Alright, I'll just have to auto-resolve that. Because we'll leave the boarding shuttle here for a second. Oh, wait, never mind. Alright. Oh, this isn't that bad, actually. This is a lot of ground units. I wonder how many of these are V-Wings. We're, we're approaching Battle of Rinda painting graphics here, which is really, I suppose, all I'm looking for in life. Yeah, may as well try this. That also felt very Rogue One right there. Alright, now there's nothing for you to get confused by. Watch for enemy ships. I don't know if that actually worked. Oh, there we go. Enemy forces. God damn. Sure hope you don't like your ground units very much. Alright, we, we don't got it. Oh well. I was too worried about all these ground units. Thank God for interdictors. Can you imagine killing this many V-Wings on the ground? That would be way too many. I bet only 10 of you could fit on the planet, too. What a room! Watch him. He's coming around. 
This would also be like incredibly obnoxious with the pre-rework. All right. Returning to your position. Intercepting. If you were to do a one-off with Shaq and Ak and the others, would it be AOR or AOE? Uh, we'd probably do Edge of the Empire. Because I think Shaq wanted to do, like, uh, Band of Misfits stuff. And some of the rules for Age Rebellion can be a little bit more complicated to learn as a first thing. And it's going to be Ak and Charlie's first introduction to tabletop stuff. Mark has played before. Shaq obviously GMs campaigns and stuff, so he's played before. Uh, and I wouldn't have been uh, a GM before this. So the simpler I can keep it for my own sake, probably the better. And one of the purposes of it would be to kind of just show uh, what it's like and kind of expose new audiences to it. So kind of as like a, just a way to show people it's a thing that's out there. Keep it as simple as possible. All right, let's see. 26 commandos, 25 HTT wings. Were there actually some speeders? Heavy trackers? Okay, 48 V-wings. There it is. Dreadnought's crews are ready. Let's go. Location. All right, back to the core. Enemy fleet approaching. Camp. All right, I'll have to retreat from this one. I kind of want to check the the charge for that. The enemy has been I don't think it'll be that big of a deal because I think that's based off of combat power. We really need to stop the Greater Maldrude from being dicks. Like, I, I want them there as a buffer against the New Republic, but I want the New Republic to actually, like, fight them. And I want, more importantly, I want them to fight the New Republic. But, oh, look at that. Look at that. That is just beautiful. So, Thanos into Kashyyyk. Uh, can we get to a build pad? Hey, there's a build pad. I won't bring in artillery because they're not going to be especially useful against uh, these air units. But infantry definitely will. So an AA turret. No, oh, that one didn't go well. Let's get that one then. Fine, ground element that's gaining way worse than space. Yeah, that's uh, as Bob says, that's a pretty common opinion. Uh, but we are doing 
everything we can to improve it and kind of make it its own standard as its own thing. It's an ongoing process, but I think we've made a lot of good moves with that in the last couple releases of both Fall of the Republic and TR. So, like, I personally enjoy it now, but there's a lot more that we're working on doing to make sure that it continues getting more enjoyable. Get this uh, this next Move out. guy here. Sensor node constructing. Reporting. Construction right away. complete. Moving to that area. Initiate attack run. Get that bombing run. Commencing bombing there they are. run. And Moving you. That was close. Ready for duty. Targeting enemy. Awaiting orders. Fall out crew. Class them. Let's move out. Let's go. So air units, well, AA directly does rip them up. A lot of units, especially infantry, are also pretty damn good against it. Uh, obviously not as good as dedicated AA, but uh, we're pretty satisfied overall with where they are. I think the fact that they get spammed so much is the only real problem with them right now by the AI, like the, the fact that V-Wings are so favored by the AI. But uh, I've always, or within the last few updates, I felt them to be like worth building, but not worth just spamming to the exclusion of everything else. Uh, like HMPs and LATs, especially the gunship types, tend to feel pretty good. Uh, if anything, the air speeders tend to feel a little bit on the weaker side, except for like V-Wings with power to weapons are fairly useful, but I don't really get as much use out of air speeders, or like snow speeders rather, except as uh, scouts, which I mean, Considering what they are, isn't too bad either. We secured an abandoned turbo laser tower. Roger. Bombardment target confirmed. Bombardment incoming. Yes, Commander. Weapons ready. All right. Can you actually get up the hill, please? I'm not sure how many of the uh, missile troops are actually still alive. All right, man. Load your weapon. Attack. Squad, load out. We lost the abandoned turbo laser tower. Fire. Reporting in. Roger that. Got him. Planetary control achieved. Building under construction. Uh, okay. I'm going to keep putting these units that we're building together there. Uh oh. That's I'm not sure if that's gonna be the New Republic or if that's gonna be Greater Maldrude. But let's get a, an eclipse attack on the Wookiees. Tactical battle imminent. More ready. Cleared for departure. Actually, I think that's going to do it for our first episode tonight. So for those watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. For those watching on Twitch, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be recording at least one more episode of TR. 
So thanks again, everyone. And hope to see you next time, YouTube people.